I'm curious about, were there like distinct lessons of failure? If you think back and maybe it's more recent or maybe it's not, but just like where there were failures that at the time maybe seemed like a, a big L, but like really positioned you for something great. Is there like an early lesson failure that you're proud of, right? That like maybe didn't seem like the most exciting then, but but obviously supported you later. I think some of that comes from the fact that I have had failures and have then also gotten to the other side of them and seen in hindsight the success that, and success comes in many shapes and you know forms, jobs that I missed out on, whether you wanted to move to another company or whether I was looking for a promotion that I didn't get. And when you look back on hindsight, think, wow, that put me on a terrific path that I would have never been on otherwise. There are certain things, even at ICE, that I know that I raised my hand for and said, I can do this. And it didn't end up exactly in the way that I thought it was gonna end up. But I think that on the other side of that, there's been great wins too. And sometimes there's not always even great wins. It's just, okay, you failed, but you didn't fail that much. You know, it wasn't that bad. And so you just kind of move on. I've never had such a bad repercussion of trying something and it not working out the way it has so that it hasn't deterred me from from continuing to take some risks. The responsibilities that you have now in your role to be just okay with failure and like and 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 to kind of have a measurement of like is it a big failure is it a little you have your own personal way of looking at that and I think that yeah it's beautiful to see that at the highest level to keep that relationship you know at the forefront. Failure to somebody who's just starting in their career is going to look and feel really different to somebody who's maybe 10 years or 20 years in their career. And I think as a leader, having perspective on that is really important. Years ago, there was somebody who was, they were early on in their career and they were really upset about something that I found to be insignificant. I was not fussed by it, but they were really upset about it. And the reality is that at that level, at that place in their career and where they were, they were paid to be really upset about that. And I was really happy by the fact that they took that accountability and the responsibility. But I think it's important as a leader to then also give somebody that space. They can fail and it's okay, even if you know that it's not that big of a deal. And I think the other side is you have to put your money where your mouth is on that. And you can't just say you can fail and it's going to be okay and then get really angry about it. I hope that anybody on my team or who has ever worked with me would say that that's a culture that we really pride ourselves on, which is there's no bad ideas and give it a go. You're not going to have to worry about something happening if, if it didn't work out necessarily the way that you wanted it to. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This segment is brought to you by Salesforce. Salesforce brings marketing and engagement together. If you want to learn more, head over to salesforce.com forward slash marketing. And please subscribe to this channel for more marketing insights from the world's best marketing leaders across the Fortune 500 and beyond.